Okay, let's continue on with our ship track exercise. I am now in the second scene called Ocean. If you remember, this is our title. I'm just going to make a movie of it just to show you where we are. And then I'm going to show you how to do these waves. Fun. Okay. Scene two. This is my stage, as you can see. So this is the ocean. These are my scenes. And I already got a head start on it because it would take too long and be too boring to show you. But this right here is my stage. So let's see how to mark that off so that you can get a sense of it. With animation, you're not just working on the stage. You're also working off the stage, therefore you can move things in, in and out and, and get bigger or smaller. So I'm going to go here to View, <coughs> Rulers. Notice the rulers popped up here. And I'm going to hide everything. I'm just going to take my cursor and run it down here, or I could have just clicked the eyeball. Okay, so I'm going to drag these rules. Kind of hard to see. And then from this side. And this side. I'm going to click the eyeball again. And you can see there's my stage. This is it. So you'll know that this is off the stage, right? Seems obvious. Toy. Okay. So <clears throat> what I did is I created two different um, bits of the ocean these waves, and they're just shape tweens. And you can see it kind of looks odd here, what I did, because I just didn't, wasn't that careful. And this one, you can see it's twisting around. But it kind of works on the stage, and you can play with it and adjust it. Once again, I'll show it to you. <clears throat> So it's going up and down, and they're two different wave patterns. So let me show you how I did it, and I'm going to get rid of these here. So I just now have a background, and I'm going to put a wave at the bottom of it in the front. So I'm going to add a little thing, and I'm going to call this Ocean 2. So I added a layer by clicking here, Ocean 2. And there's nothing in it, obviously. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. I'm going to change the color to just a kind of a green. And then I'm going to lighten it. And I'm going to give it a little less. I'm going to make it a little transparent. And now I'm going to drag this right okay. I'm going to drag it across the front. You can see it's pretty transparent. And I'm extending it way beyond this. Okay? And now I'm going to go, I'm going to click into it, I'm going to lock everything else. I'm going to click into it and I'm going to go up here to modify shape, because we're doing shape tweens on this. And I'm going to soften the fill edges. Okay, So instead of a hard edge, I did a soft edge. Now notice I clicked off this on the stage. That is highlighted. I want to get out of it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag I'm going to drag the stroke. Even though this is softened, it's still a stroke. So I'm going to start with this here. I'm going to hit F6 and I'm going to do a shape tween. Now I'm going to do another one, lay down another keyframe here. 
click off of it and I'm going to drag that down to there and maybe I'm going to drag this corner down I really didn't do anything. I did a little bit. Now let's do some more. I'm going to grab the middle of this and pull it way down. And one more. And I'll just flatten that out. Okay. Um, you'll play a lot more with this than I just did. And now let's see how this works. I just want to test the scene. So I'm going to go Control, Test Scene. Kind of fun. Okay, let's leave it at that. And now I'm going to add a boat. So I built this guy in my insert new symbol and I'm going to drag him now to the state. A little big, hit the Q key and I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to use a, um, I'm going to use just a regular tween, motion tween and I'm going to start dragging along the timeline because I want to bring him in now. So there he is. And now I'm going to twirl him a little and bring him down here. I'm going to move him this way. So he's almost off the stage now. And now I'm going to move him back. And now I'm going to move him straight down. And if we were working expressions, I'd put some expressions on his face. But we're not going to do that right now. And then... And now he's going to go up and up. Okay. And I'm going to go control, test C. Okay, you can see you can have a lot of fun with that. That's just uh, real sort of crass and rudimentary. So uh, have fun. Um, that's my two scenes, and if you play them together, here's what you'll see. This has a lot of moving parts to it. Cool. So add some clouds, add some rain, have fun, figure it out. And uh, the idea is just to keep trying stuff, play with it, bounce up against challenges and we'll fix them and I'll show you how to do stuff sometimes based on what you run into. Okay, have fun.